Hi Mike, I'm introducing you to the uh, Triton Work Centre. And as we know, the basic work centre has been around for about 35 years or so. And uh, it's still probably one of the most unique woodworking machines. And over a period of years, we've made 450,000 of these. And we've turned very many um, average woodworkers into almost expert woodworkers. And I've educated the whole generation of Australian woodworkers. Now basically, the, the um, uh, work centre is designed to take any power saw, but if you are buying a work centre from scratch, buying a saw from scratch, you are best to have the uh, Triton saw because it's extremely powerful and has been specifically made to be used upside down. Now what I'll do is I'll very quickly go through the main features and benefits. Now most of us, if we're doing a woodworking project, we might be doing a, a, um, a carport, pergola, garden furniture, we'll buy timber of the correct uh, section but incorrect length so you've got to cut it to size. And over the years, slight compound saws have been extremely expensive. So what we do is we set the work centre up in one of its two modes. And uh, one of its two modes is cross-cut. And what we do with cross-cut is we have the saw sliding backwards and forwards on these tracks here. And I put the timber in. I hold the timber. I don't have to hold it very hard, but hold it firmly and then push the power saw through the timber. I can do this absolutely millimetre perfect. It's dead, dead accurate because I've got a cutting reference point on the cross-cut fence here. The cutting reference point which makes it easy to cut halfway through a pencil line to the right of the pencil line or to the left of the pencil line. And because of its very, very generous cross-cut capacity, bigger than what we believe, bigger than any other cross-cut saw on the market, you can actually cut four legs of a table or four legs of a chair at the same time and uh, it will give you dead accuracy. You actually can't make a mistake theoretically if you cut all four legs at the same time. So the basic action is holding the timber like that and pushing it in. Sometimes, if you might be making a dog kennel, you could be making a carport, um, and you want to get uh, some angles, you might have an apex or a hip on a roof and you want to get some angles. It's very, very easily done with the, uh, with the retractor. The tractor drop the tractor drops into a, a captive track, locks in position, whilst it's sliding I can now lock it into position, so it can't move, and now I can push through that piece of timber, just move it, I move that through there and then I, I cut through. It's got um, sandpaper on the edges here, so therefore it will hold the timber absolutely firmly against the, uh, the tractor and prevent it moving during the cut. So very, very useful indeed. So what we did is we covered off cutting to length, which is it's probably the most basic cut that anybody will do in, wood, in woodworking, is cutting a piece of timber to length. The other things you want to do, and especially if you're doing indoor work like shelving or making some furniture, you actually want to cut or rip timber to width. And you do that very simply by converting the Triton Work Center from a cross-cut uh, cross saw into a rip saw. And I'll do that in around about 40 seconds. So if you just watch what I do, it's not difficult. I take this off here. That just clips off of those red tags. It has somewhere to go so there's nothing being dropped on the floor. I lift the saw off out of its track. Take the table out. Flip the table over and put the table back on. Now when I um, put the table on, it's guided back into position by these catches and these catches are slightly wedge shaped which centralise the table and get it exactly right. I'll pull the, the rip fence in get the guard. The guard locks down with a riving knife there or a splitter to stop the uh, timber turning in on the blade when you go. And now we've got a very high capacity small table saw. And this um, high capacity small table saw will actually cut right out to 620 millimeters. And we've achieved that in a very clever way. We've achieved that by um, uh, a short scale which runs up to 320 millimeters but it actually has two separate um, 
scale. So it's got a top scale and a bottom scale. And using the same scale, you can go right out to 620 millimeters. So what I mean for that, oh sorry. So it goes to 320 millimeters there. If you want wider, it goes to 620. And you can push it in there. So very, very generous table uh, uh, with, uh, with capacity. Now, I often say that this is probably the safest way possible to cut a piece of timber. And the way I can back that up is that uh, if I go back to, to cutting this piece of timber here, I want to cut this piece of timber is about, um, about 120 millimeters wide. If I just wanted to take 40 millimeters off, so I set the rip fence to 120. Set it both ends. So I've blocked it at both ends. So I can run that through quite easily. I say that, that it's the safest way possible to cut timber. If I was cutting a piece of timber, if I cut 40 millimeters off this and I now want to make it even smaller and work with a very small piece of timber, maybe cut that piece of timber there, what I'll do is I'll bring in quite a few of the safety features. And the safety features are, I'm going to cut, uh, say, at um, 30 millimeters. Set both ends at 30 millimeters, right. and I'm going to be pushing that through there. This is a real problem pushing this piece of timber in because you can see how close your fingers are going to be to the blade. So what I will do is I'll bring down the guard, lock that down in position. Now when the timber goes through here, there's locking fingers there, or uh, hold down fingers there, which hold it down, but they're also at an angle, and they'll stop the timber jarring backwards. Stick it down a little bit lower. So you can't actually lock that timber backwards against the, uh, the hold down fingers. What I will also do is put this sliding push stick. So I've got the sliding push stick here, and that will push the piece of timber through, so I won't be uh, out of my hand nearby. The other safety feature, it's a protractor, and on the side of the protractor, I have this feather board, and I'll bring that in, feather finger, bring that in there, and put some pressure on the piece of timber. Right, I'll put the, the piece of timber uh, through there. So what I'm doing with a small piece of timber, I'm pushing it, it's been held in there, it's been held down by the guard, and it's extremely safe to use. And that's what we believe, if this is the safest way possible of cutting a piece of timber. The other um, feature that we bring into, into play there The other uh, feature we bring into play is the, um, is the protractor. So you hold the piece of timber, when you're cutting a frame, you hold it and run it through like that. So you can get extremely accurate um, uh, mitres and, uh, and angles.